That's the zoo closing bell. Everybody knows what that means. It's time to get busy in this motherfucker. Boo. That is Whoa! <coughs> oh, I just need to ask you something. Oh, what's wrong? I need you to buy me my own instrument for the talent show at preschool tomorrow. Of course, Beef, I got you. What do you want, a guitar? No. A triangle? No. No. A violin? No. A flutie? No. Uh, a viola? I want a harp! A what's this now? A, a, a harp, huh? You want a harp? Harp! Don't talk back to your father. Yes, sir. I will get you a harp, Beef, because you want it. Well, they are extremely expensive. I should I didn't mention that. What? I did not know this before I said yes. I should have checked into it. There's the initial purchase, which is almost, I think, thousands of dollars. Oh, and no. And then there's the maintenance and upkeep. Not even, you know, and I'm bound to break it because I'm new to it. Oh, well, treat it good, and maybe you won't. Oh, no, it's going to happen. Oh, you're going to break it. That's right? what oh, they say. Oh, no. That's so terrible. So you just got to be prepared. Yeah, I'm prepared. Well, you know what? You're my son. And I love you, and if this is what you are passionate about, who am I to stop you? Well, I wouldn't say passionate. More like this is what I want to do right now. Okay, let's just get you this whore. Whoosh! Hey, Lofi. <gasps> My human girlfriend, Becca! I missed you so much! Now that is how you enter a pool. Huh? Right, Nick? What? Nick! Huh? Hi! Huh? Slippy Parker, how are you? Okay. Yo, you're never gonna believe this. What? Beef comes home today and he's like, I need a harp. A what? A harp. Well, what is that? The musical instrument, a harp. The angel, oh. angels play it. What does he need it for? Exactly, for the school talent show. It turns out he wants to be a harpist. I was like, how do you know how to play a harp all of a sudden? And he just said to me, you know he said to me? YouTube. Then all of a sudden, now that I, it's on me to oh. get pay for one, those things are expensive as hell. I don't know where to get a harp, I'm a manatee. You're not gonna believe that this is insane because what? I just heard Scrooge talking about a harp. A harp? Do you mean a harp? I guess so. I think so. I think you do. A harp? This was a stupid story that Scrooge was telling yesterday, but now it's a smart story because it can help you. That's great. I love smart stories. I'll talk to Scrooge. You know what, then? You yeah, seem you stoned. Talk to because <laughs> I am. Transition! Lofe, lofe. Oh, what up, Scrooge? How you doing? Damn, you look good. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we move on. What can I get for you, sir? You know, the usual, my body weight and weed. 13 ounces of sativa. There you go. Thank you, That's thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Straight up cash. <laughs> I will give you a dollar another day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, yo, I'll straight up. Nope, nope. Wait, 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 before you go, can I ask you a secret? Yeah, he can ask me a secret. I need to get a harp for my infant son, Beef, for his talent show at preschool tomorrow, and I need it by 6 a.m. so Zookeeper Dan doesn't find out. Can I be honest? Always. I had a pretty toxic relationship with this dude, Eli, who plays the oboe in the orchestra for Beetlejuice. You might not hear the oboe in the in performances. In the score itself, but, but it shines, you know it's in there. And when I went down there to hook up with him in the orchestra pit, because I went during intermission. Mm -hmm. Bold. I looked around and I was like, harp, 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 uh, flute, 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 oboe, <laughs> and then dick. And so, but it was one night. I don't know if I want to revisit it, because he is a tall drink of water, and baby, I was tired for a week. Look, I know Eli was a bit of a careless whisper, but do you think you were calling for me? It also feels weird to be giving up or getting a harp for a child by fucking. Yeah. That it, but feels but bad. you know what helps me? Completely not thinking about it and just doing it for me anyway. Yeah. You know? I'm gonna do it. That's what I'm talking about, Screw G. I'm you up for anything. Hey. That's what I like most about you. Yeah, because I mean, part of it is still gonna be a good time. Yeah. I'm still gonna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> time to go to the next scene. <laughs> good morning, Lofi. What a terrible name, Lofi. Your parents must have dip sized, I mean, despised you. Shit. 
nothing worse than stuttering in the middle of making fun of someone. You're the dumbest person I know, Zookeeper Dan. I'm smart as hell. I went to Phoenix University, That's motherfucker. That's not a very good school, I feel like. Oh. I'm not familiar, but... They have very good programs. <clears throat> oh, what's this over here? Hey, Lofi, why are you acting so weird? Do I have mustard in my perfect mustache? You wouldn't just let me walk around looking like a dupe, would you? You know I hate looking like a dupe. What's a dupe? I don't fucking know. It's a word. I don't think it is. I'm gonna get you one of these days, Lofi. Go fuck yourself, Zookeeper Dan. No! Go fuck yourself, Lofi! No, I refuse. It's Lofi! Okay, now that is how you play a fucking harp! <laughs> killing it, killing it, killing it, thief! Oh my god, I'm crying! Oh, Beef, that was beautiful. I am so proud of you. I couldn't have done it without you, Dad. Oh, no, it was all you, man, and that no, beautiful it was heart. you. It was for you. How'd you get it for me? Let's just say I'll tell you when you're older. I'm much older. This is a preschool. <laughs> Ooh. I'd buy weed from Lofi if it's good. Oh, only the best weed in New York City. It's gotta be good. Obviously, it's hydroponics. So that, that is... If I see a manatee selling weed, I'm gonna think it's a cop, and I'm not gonna trust it. He thinks I'm stupid, but what he doesn't know is I got two degrees from community college, bitch. <laughs> Uh, this episode is called Lofi Needs a Horp. Dad! Whoa! It seems like I startled you! You did startle me! How can I help you, my love? <laughs> uh, Beef is Lofi's son, who is a, a little, a little scamp. He's adorable. He's got a very Baby Yoda vibe to him. He's very, <laughs> very cute. I need you to buy me my own instrument for the talent show at preschool tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Beef, I got you. Beef is played by Ron Funches, who is one of the, I think, one of the funniest guys in the world. Else the other kids will call me the kid with no instrument at preschool tomorrow. <laughs> I think he's got one of the funniest cadences in the world. <laughs> what do you think it could be? Oh, no, I don't want to say. I want a harp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Drug dealing manatee played by Bobby Moynihan. I love it. I think it's real fun, silly. It's about things that I enjoy, which would be a, a pothead single dad just trying to make it in the world. That is me. So it's fun to go from the other side and play beef with just being the son and having less responsibilities about it. Oh, what's this now? A, a, a harp, huh? Harp! I don't know where to get a whore up a manatee. Actually, he gets some help from his human girlfriend, Becca. I just heard Scrooge talking about a harp. Becca is played by Cecily Strong, I think one of the most talented ladies in the history of Saturday Night Live. I'll talk to Scrooge. You know what, then? You yeah, seem you gotta stung. talk to him because <laughs> I am. Scrooge is played by the, the absolutely hilarious Eugene Cordero. I had a pretty toxic relationship with this dude, Eli. I know Eli was a bit of a careless whisper, but do you think you could call him for me? It also feels weird to be getting a heart for a child by fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. I'm gonna do it. That's what I'm talking about, That's Scrooge. You talking. up for anything. Hey. That's what I like most about you. Time to go to the next scene. Okay. Let's do it. Good morning, Lofi. What a terrible name, Lofi. This is Zookeeper Dan, played by the incomparable Jay Farrow. He talks kind of like this. Fat dude with a light fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> they look remarkably like each other for some reason. We may find out why someday, no spoilers. Your parents must have dip-sized, I mean, despised you, shit. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, Zookeeper Dan uh, and Lofi don't get along. You're the dumbest person I know, Zookeeper Dan. I'm smart as hell. I went to Phoenix University. <laughs> <laughs> I love working with Bobby, man. Bobby's my brother. It's fun, it's easy, and then that's my homeboy, man, so it's easy bouncing off people that you like. You don't see me in here with Pete Diddy, do you? You know I hate looking like a dope. What's a dupe? I don't fucking know, it's a word. I don't think it is. They're kind of a Batman and Joker situation going on, though. They need each other. It's pretty much just they, they pass each other every day and go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> fuck you, Lofi! No, I told you to fuck yourself first. No, fuck you! 
Can we try another one of those just a little shorter? I'm going to get you one of these days, Lofi. Go fuck yourself, Zookeeper. Dude. No! Go fuck yourself, Lofi! No, I refuse. <laughs> oh, and the culmination of the episode when we finally get to see Beef play his beautiful harp. Oh, Beef, that was beautiful. I am so proud of you. How'd you get it for me? The character of Eli is played by Eli Newell, a good friend of mine and a really funny and amazing dude who came in to do this amazing part. Let's just say I'll tell you when you're older. Um, much older. This is a preschool. <laughs> Ooh. It's Lofi! 